I'm Dave Stafford. I am the Chief Operating Officer for Mission America's Research Corporation, which we're responsible for all the research and development of the products you buy in North America. Well, this is a question that I want to ask you, Dave. What goes into making one tire? What goes into making one tire? What product? Well, we, if you look at this tire before us, you have rubber, polymer, okay? Natural rubber from trees in Asia, Africa, or South America, or synthetic rubber that comes from, from, from oil. You have, in the case of truck tires, you have a lot of steel material for the reinforcement, the casing plies and, and the crown plies. Car, you have also steel and the crown plies only. In the case of car tires, you have textiles that make up the casing plies. Uh, you have various chemicals that reinforce the rubber material. Carbon black, obviously. Carbon black is what makes uh, the rubber black. Otherwise, it wouldn't be as black as you see it. Uh, you can also have silica in the case we mentioned for low energy loss products. You use a lot more silica type reinforcement for lower, lower loss products. Is that what you're using in your new tires? We're using more and more of the silica product to reduce the, the energy loss from rolling, from going in and out of contact, mm -hmm. while maintaining the other performances we're after. But it's not the only reinforcement material. We still use a good bit of carbon black, obviously. You know, we look at the life cycle of the tire and the, the amount of energy that we consume to, uh, to produce it, to produce the material to extract the materials from the ground or whatever, and, and the life of the product. And what we know from the life cycle analysis done in Europe and North America is that about 86% of the total energy that is used by a car tire or truck tire, they're about the same, is actually used during the life when you run it on your car or on your truck. So actually only about 11% is used to make the products, to make them in our own plants and so forth, and very little to distribute it. And about 86% is the life cycle of the usage, the actual usage of the product. And to us, that's the most important one to focus on. You know, retreading, is it coming back into fashion at all? Obviously, retreading in North America never left fashion for trucks. There's about as many retreaded truck tires on the road today as there are new tires. It's about a 50-50 ratio, roughly, okay? okay? Obviously, for car and light trucks, that has, it's gone out of fashion. Because you've made them too back? cheap, you know. Blame me, okay, it's long, but, <laughs> it, but it has gone out of fashion, obviously, and I don't know that it, it comes back. Obviously, it's a, it's a good idea done under the right circumstances. It can be a good thing, but it needs to be done right so that, you know, you have the right level of safety and so forth you're looking for. How, do you, how do you get more people to recycle their old tires? Well, what we've done um, in North America and in Europe is obviously the manufacturers like us are committed to try to, to reuse tires, and I, I prefer the, the word reuse. Because recycle sounds like we're, we're putting them back into the, to the new products. And there's some of that, but it's a small, a small part of what happens. Most of the products at the end of life, and I think it's close to 90% of the tires in the U.S. now, are reused at the end of life. They go into floor mats or, or playground mats. They go into some asphalt applications and, and different things. You see it now in mulch. But the biggest is, is still by far the cement cones that use the tires as an energy source. You know, cement kilns need energy to, to make the cement for your for your houses and so forth. Wait, the cement cones? I'm sorry, cement kilns. kilns. Oh, okay. And the, the cement kilns uh, need a lot of energy to, mm -hmm. to make the cement used to make concrete and so forth. And so these kilns use uh, chopped up tires to get the energy, among other energy sources. So they use the chopped up tires for fire? Yeah, exactly. A cement kiln is just a big, if you want, just a huge oven that takes lime and different things, you know, uh, calcium, and puts it in there and cooks it up under high temperatures. And what you get out at the end is, is cement, you know, a powder form that you use in to build stuff with. And obviously, it's a very important product to have in the world. And they need a lot of energy. And they use natural gas and other things, but they also use tire products. Wow. So most of it is reuse. So I prefer the word reuse as opposed to recycle. Makes sense. Dave, thank you very much. Okay.